Hey guys, so if you remember last time, we built our team, we got everything sorted, everything's rock and roll. Um, finally, our first run that has like an actual team that we built, it's time to kick some ass. Uh, Friday night is alright for fighting, but because it's not Friday when you watch this video, that was a really stupid joke. <sighs> alright, well, let's get on with it. I want to see how my team performs in battle here. You return to the docks to meet Shannon Halfsky. Although the Ripper's latest victim was her brother, Shannon appears cool and professional, a consummate runner by birth, if not by trade. She'll get the job done, and hopefully one of the hearth spirits in this place can point you towards the Ripper. Dealing with the spirits can be a tricky business, but when they deliver, it's pure platinum. One doesn't have um, to be an Amer Amerindian shaman to summon and control spirits. Anyone with magic talent can do it, but Shannon seems to have a particular connection to the spirit world. As you approach the gate, you know something's not right. The docks are already strange and uncomfortable but at night. <laughs> at night at night. Um, they trigger the need for caution. When you see it, guards are missing. The gate's been smashed in. What up? Let's see what's going on. Let's do this thing. Oh, god damn it. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, confirm. We're good. Got lots of med kits. Got my machine gun. Don't need anything else. Hey, oh yeah, I do have like a crap ton of them. Yeah, I have 13 karma to spend here. Don't want to get into all that stuff. Let's let's just be, let's just keep making my combat better. Um, I'm wondering if I should improve. No, I think I'm going to work on ranged combat because that's what I use so damn much. Uh, quickness. Alright, and then rage combat. And then in turn, rifle four. And that seems about right. That should be good for what we're going to do. Alright, it's about time you showed up. Looks like we weren't the only ones who wanted to take advantage of this situation. A bunch of mercs have to lock down the area. I don't think they're here for us, though. My guess is there's something's worth a bit of coin left in this warehouse. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Well, it was for Lone Star. They're all dead. I hope you're a better shot than they are. I definitely am a better shot than they are. Alright, let's go. Who the hell is this guy? He's got a pretty cool mohawk. You there, the block is off limits. There are uh, gas leak on the docks here. No loitering. This guy doesn't look like one of the hired mercenaries. You're even listening. Get out of here. I'm gonna... <sighs> really, guy... Lone Star is coming. Frag. Knew they were lying. Told me they jammed all the Lone Star channels. I'm out. Alright. One less guy to kill, I suppose. Don't have to fight him. Okay. Oh, shit. There's a man. There's another man. Some more men. And there's a guy over there somewhere. Um. Okay. I guess we get right into this whole fighting thing. Can I? She can mana bolt. That's cool. Let's do that. Wow, it did four damage. For real, though. Alright, why don't you haste? Oh, it costs two. Damn. Alright, well, just shoot your gun. Alright, then... Let's see, you're my wizard. No, you're not. You are my techno guy. That's right. And then, um, so let's just empty bullets at this poor person and see if we can take them out of the turn order or not do any of that, it seems. That's cool. Whatever. Um, yeah, all right. Ooh, all right, here we go. Hell yeah! You were worth the money. Ow. What the fuck is that guy doing? Hmm. I think I'm gonna aim at this guy. Yeah, that's what I wanna see. Wow! I am a killing machine! Why are you guys even here? Um, okay, uh, 
Shannon. Wait, you're the one we have to keep alive, so why don't you, like, go take cover or something? Not that the other Shadowrunners really shouldn't try to stay alive anyway, but... Holy hell! Alright. Hypotenuse, where do you wanna... Yeah, go over there, and then you can shoot. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Um, and this clown's magic is probably recharging, so let's just chill him over here, too. My troll doesn't really seem to take cover. He pretty much just stands out in the open and gets shot a bunch of times. But he n never really has that much trouble. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, god damn it. <sighs> Fucking shamans and their shit. I'm so sick of your bullcrap. Alright. <laughs> okay. Um, don't need to worry about him then. Alright, who do we- I don't want to send you over there. Um, you have your spell back yet? Yeah, oh, you can use it again. You're so damn good. Alright, well, let's just- let's just chill a turn here. I don't want to- yeah, go over here. No, it's cool, you guys just sit tight for a minute. Do I have enough ammo? For oh wait, I can't. Do I have enough ammo to do that? I do. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, okay. So let's grab this, whatever this is. Looks like it's the key to the warehouse for karma. Nice. All right, do I have to heal up? No, I am mysteriously healed. That is fantastic. All right. Then I suppose I'm gonna guess that the uh, adversaries that are inside the building are probably a bit better than the ones we just fought outside. Those guys were pretty much flunkies. I mean, they kind of went down like bitches. Uh, let's see. Um, and then let's actually go and do that karma now. Because with that extra point I left over, I might be able to get something. Um, do, 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 do. Or not. But how about like. Yeah, let's do quickness. Firm. Cool. Alright. In we get. What do we got here? You head inside the darkened warehouse with Shannon. Her eyes have a far off gaze associated with looking into the astral plane. Oh, she can do it while she's moving around. That's pretty cool. Um, I'll take just a second. Uh, typically when you, you go astral, uh, she must just be looking into the astral plane, but when you, you actually interact with it, your body goes limp. So... But re sometimes really strong shamans can do both, like maintain a connection to their body while interacting with the spirit world. Anyway, not important. Um, when the world changed, the Native American tribes made the resurgence as well, demanding a place in the new world, and they got it. The Salish City Council now represents 8.6 Amerindians <laughs> across a multitude of tribes, Salish, Makas, and, and others. They've adapted to the awakening better than other nations, thanks to a deeper connection with the world, both physical and spiritual. You can see that connection alive in Shannon now. You notice a shift in her focus as she returns to the present. She nods to you. You can sense she can sense the spirits in this place. Now you just need to find them. Alrighty. Oh man, there's like people. Okay, so did you see that? I may have, I didn't talk about it right here. Find the data the runners are after. So these guys aren't um, nasty mercenaries. Well, they are nasty mercenaries, but uh, they're here looking for something. So we're going to see if we can snag that data on our way out. Can I just kill? Like, yeah, let's just fucking ice these people. I'm not going to stealth. I mean, I feel a little bad, but business is business. And you goon bags in the middle of my warehouse. Wow. You know, I really happy I brought Gallo Glass along. This guy's a boss, but this other guy's really not that good at his job. All right, let's do. It. What? No more mana ball? 
Oh, he moved. Oh, okay. Holy crap. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna empty my clip at every target. Yeah, there we go. That guy's gonna do something squirrely. You just wait and see. Let's see, can I monoball him? It's only gonna do 10 damage, so it probably won't kill him with however many health he has. So we'll just shoot. I'm not Holy cripes! I am not particularly strategic. And maybe I should consider... Oh, shit. And I ran out of ammo. No, I don't want to do that. I want to machete. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. Got your back, Shannon. Um, can you heal? No, you're not the one that does that. That was this clown. Heal her. Because if she dies, we lose. Good deal. Alright, then, um... Oh, you still have one action left? Let's move you over here and see if we can figure out where that guy threw that... Oh, he's right there. Alright, whatever. Okay, then. Lay down covering fire! Reload. Yeah, get... Don't you dare throw another grenade. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go kill him. Or I'm not. I'm gonna go Paco him. There. There's a big orb guy. But reload your gun. And you, you're all set. Where can we get to? There. Can we go here? Wait a sec. Can we get a line of sight on him from there? No, we can't. Alright. How about you? Damn. Not a bad guy. Whatever. You, you're in a bad position. I don't really want to move you again. <laughs> I know I should probably just reload my really, really powerful rifle, but you know what? I'm just going to keep swinging at him randomly with my sword. Shannon, why don't you just move up? Oh, you're fully healed. I don't need to protect you that much. They know that she's the person to kill. That's, I mean, because of, of everybody. All right, well, get yourself dead. All right, who's still here? There's got to be more bad guys if they're still making you do this. Or maybe... Who's left? Come on, buddies. Where are the... Yeah, are we good? There's going to be more. Um... She tried from over here before, so why don't we try going this way? We'll just skip, go around to over here. And you can follow me. Maybe this is where we're going? Yeah, there we go. Okay, you two clowns just stay there. You open the door. Oh man, I just thought, you know, if I were a good player, which I apparently am not, I would switch to this and reload my gun. Just on the off chance that we need to pick a fight. Which we do. <laughs> well, team, just hoof it. You guys will get here eventually. I should have been moving you the whole time. There's a reason I don't play strategy games. I'm not very good at them. You want to back up off my lady friend? 
Uh, I'm way more entertained by that than I should be. Um, blat, blat, blat. Okay, hey, you guys will be here in two more turns. So that's not too bad. Pup, 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 pup. Pup, 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 pup. All right. Guess what I say hello to my little friend. Oh, I didn't do that much, but hold on. She's wicked with that pistol. Can I hire her full time? Better than Captain Dickbutt over here. This guy, come on. Yeah, there you go, nerd. Good work. It's, I, you know, I shouldn't complain because all these guys have done well. They're all worth their money. They're not fucking Paco. Huh. <sighs> should really also learn to spread my guys out a little bit better. But we're still good. Reload. Maybe I shouldn't waste all my ammo all the time, but it's so much fun. This last one, follow me. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, we got the data, the pay data they were after they... Alright, so, cool. Let's go in here. On Ares Flight Recorder. I wonder what that has to do with anything. So... Hmm. Spirits of dead children coalesce from the vapor of your breath. Their cherubic faces are burned. Their lips quiver as they're about to cry. Their eyes go round and vacant. They glare at you now, unblinking. We are the innocents who have perished in the flames, choking on smoke. We fell from the sky, crying for our mothers. We bring, we bring anchors to our world, which was once home to us. We will use them to testify. Show the first magical fetish to the spirits. We no longer see the world of the flesh seeker, only our essence and auras of living things. Words, though. Words may echo through the veil, and sometimes we may hear them. All right. Last night, this place was filled with a scream that went on and on, drawing us to it. It was a man, crying out for a witness as he died. So he came to bear witness, but fled in terror from the before the malevolent spirit, the, the, the profaned man's remains. The spirit was the other. It was not of this place. It had twisted its way through the veil and brought dark to come here. When the other had gone, we returned to our vigil and found two creatures of flesh. You can call an elf, sullied by, unsullied by technology and able to channel the energies of the cosmos. Yet his spirit was corrupted from within. He was dark and twisted, not yet not like the other, so we did not flee. Second, we knew to be a troll. Ribbons of his essence had been flayed from him, leaving cold machinery behind. His aura was the aura of one simple and confused. Between the elf and the troll lay the remains of the man whose sister now chants us for justice. Well, his essence remains in place where the man died. Something may have been left behind, a small part of him, perhaps. Spirit, can you tell us any more? Spirits begin to fade, all but one. Its eyes harden and make full measure of you, as if to commit something about you to memory. No, we must not stay. With the spirits gone, the young shaman releases her hold on the magical ether, connecting her to the other realm. She reels from the backlash, perhaps from the emotional toll of knowing her brother's last moments. They saw him. They were with him when he died. You all right? She takes a series of controlled breaths, only shuddering with the first few. No, but I'll be fine. I don't want that for him. Not those poor souls have endured. My brother deserves to be free. Um, he will be once we find his killer. Yep, the elf and the troll. So, we're getting closer. I, uh, because, see, that was one of the things that was really kind of sketchy about the uh, murderer. So when we were looking at the, the Ripper murders, they said that he, people were magically paralyzed, so they didn't fight back, and then were surgically removed. So we thought it was one guy who was a wizard and a surgeon, but it could very well be that the elf and the troll, the elf might be the spellcaster, or hell, the troll might be the spellcaster. Either way, I, I, I doubt it, seeing as they just told me that the elf had spirit energy and the other one didn't, but yep, we'll have to find that, ple that piece the uh, spirit spoke of. Let's go to it.
do, do. What is this? DNA evidence. Blood. This is what the spirits wanted us to find. This is the piece of my brother's killer. It's not much, but it's enough. She scowls at it, looking every bit like she intends to reach the small sample and dismember the owner from afar. Perhaps she can. Um, can you track him with that? I can, given enough time. Still coiling hydrant. I need to rest before we can do anything. Alright. Um, come in with bear. Consult the spirits. See what must be done. In the meantime, um, some portion of the sample to pursue a more conventional avenue of attack. Yeah, I have some friends. Uh, let's do it. Uh, should you find them, I want to be there when they brought low. Want to see the fight? Like, yeah, dude. Um, you know what? You proved yourself to be damn awesome. We didn't use your haste spell, but the rest of you seemed good. Alright, runners. Let's get the fuck out of here so you can get paid. Alright. I um, think that's about enough for today. Let's just go through here. We'll see where we're going. Are we headed back out? No, alright. We're returning to the seamstresses union. So I'll pick up in a little bit.